we continue talking about probability. We will see rolling two dice together. And we will be talking about the probability of getting a sum of 8. So the problem we will be talking about today is rolling two dice together and we will be finding the probability of getting a sum of 8. Here we are rolling two dice together. So when rolling two dice together, what are all the possibilities we can get or outcomes? And that is our sample space. Let's talk about all those possibilities. There are 36 possibilities when we roll two dice together. Let's talk about a few of those possibilities. When we roll d1 and d2 together, we can get 2 on d1 and 3 on d2. Another possibility is 6 on d1 and 2 on d2. And those are all the 36 possibilities. So here we're rolling two dice together, right? So what are all the possible outcomes of getting the sum of six? Eight. There are five possibilities of getting the sum of eight. Let's talk about them. There are 36 possibilities, like we said. And let's talk about all those five possibilities that have the sum of eight. When we roll D1 and D2 together, we can get 2 on d1 and 6 on d2 or 5, 2, 3 on d1 and 5 on d2. Another example is 4 on d1 and 4 on d2. Another one is 5 on d1 and 3 on d2. Last but not least, 6 on d1 and 2 on d2. These all five possibilities give you the sum of 8. So here we have the 36 possibilities and the 5 possibilities that are in red have the sum of 8. Let's now find the probability. When we're rolling D1 and D2 together, what are all the possible outcomes we can get? Let's talk about them. Our sample space is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, so on until 6 and 6. So how many possibilities are there for a sample space? There are 36 possibilities for a sample space. So that is why the number of elements in S is 36. So now let's talk about the, thir the, eight possi the five possibilities that had the sum of eight. So our E is two, six, three, and five, four and four, five and two, and six and two. So how many possibilities are there for getting the sum of eight? There are five possibilities. So that's why the number of elements in E is five. Let's talk about the formula now. The formula is the number of ways an event can occur or happen over the total possible outcomes is the number of elements in E over the number of elements in S is how many number of elements in E? There are five elements in E. And how many elements are there in S? There are 36 elements in S. So that is why there it is 5 over 36. So the probability of getting the sum of 8 is 5 over 36. That is all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching!